300 million years ago, oxygen levels in the air were almost twice what they are today. Scientists believe that this may be the reason the insects then were so large. But so far, Nigel hasn't seen anything, big or small. Some butterflies have territories at the treetops. Maybe the dragonflies do. And I've got to get up there. It's not an easy option. Prehistoric plants like this one grew to heights of 150 feet and had no branches. It's a tricky climb. Over millions of years, this magnificent prehistoric forest will turn into the coal that we burn today. But right now, it's still a beautiful sight. Just a, a sea of green for as far as you can see. And it's mind-boggling what's going to happen here over the next 300 million years. Already the climate's changing, and this carboniferous swampland, it's diminishing. In another 50 million years, there'll be conifers here, and after that, there'll be ice. <laughs> the most incredible thing, in 300 million years, right on this spot, well, not right here, 150 feet below me, there could be a fish and chip shop in Glasgow, Scotland. And look, coming out there from the trees, way just as I thought, coming straight, oh, straight at me. <laughs> a giant dragonfly. You can see the sun glistening of its wings. And down below there, it's hard to see through the trees, but there's chinks of shiny reflective water. And I think that's the place to go. That's where they'll be laying their eggs. That's where their larva will grow up. That's where they'll hunt prey as well. And what I've got to do is get down there, get down to water to find the dragonflies I'm after. He's got an easier job getting down than me. Wait. <laughs> 